Most Selnutians are familiar with the significance of the Lenten season, recognizing its importance as a 40-day period of prayer and fasting leading up to Easter. In light of this sacred time of the year, a citizen and member of the Rastafarian faith enlightens the island on the relevance of abstinence and self-control in order to be free of certain practices and foods. The Rastafarian highlights in particular that during Lent, locals should refrain from eating foods from the sea. For example, the sea, the sea itself is purging itself at this time. So therefore you shouldn't be eating anything from the, 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 um, the sea at this time. Many fishes also are, have, they have youngs. You understand? So when you kill those um, the fishes, you're killing the young ones also, right? So it's really a time of cleansing that is really going on right now to prepare for the spring season. I right? will coming out of the winter season. So even right now it's a time where a person has to look deeper within themselves, or the eating, or the drinking. It's a time of meditation. It's a time where one go in themselves rather than say outside of themselves in this time. So um, you check up on your health, what you're eating, what you're drinking. Because um, when you realize what people are consuming this time, they're consuming a lot of things that are not good for them. And as I said, things that are not good for them. So it's an overall thing, whether they're eating or drinking. Yeah, it's a time of meditation right now that's going through. In the Lenten season, individuals are advised to consume vegetables and fruits that are specifically available during this time of the year. You look, for example, um, a vegetable like zepina. Many people don't like zepina, but that's rich in iron. And yeah, it's rich in iron, it's more um, nutritious than even broccoli itself also. And when you look at the grain, because the seed from the zepina is what they call the amaranth grain. And the amaranth grain is the richest source of grain when it comes to iron. It has like 20% in it also. Right? So you have other things that are there. You have the, the Chinese cabbage. They call it Chinese cabbage. It's pak choy also. Then you also you have the cucumbers. Those that eat cucumbers, well, um, I, we don't eat from the vine still. But not to say something is wrong with the vine. You understand? But... Um, we don't consume from the vine, but you have the cucumbers, you have um, the cherry tomatoes. We know that, notice that um, the tomatoes is coming back in season right now, also. And then we have, um, for example, the figs. We give thanks to the figs is coming back, the makambu is always there. Under the theme of observance and reverence for our Lord, it is important to remember that the food we need to consume will also be provided to us by our Father. So sometimes people say they can't find the food to eat, but it is always there. It's not around you. It's not, um, it's not away from you, I should say. Not around you. It should not set away from you. And consume more of the local food than even the imported food. You understand? Because the Father put everything within a season. So out of season, sometimes you see something out of season, they are not um, original. So you need the organic foods. The produce and additional foods we consume during the Lenten season are a gift from God as He has provided everything we need to sustain us on the island. By consuming in moderation and refraining from indulgence, St. Lucia will be undergoing a positive and transformative Lent season. For Choice News Now, this is Obi Offer reporting.